old units are in meters, um, just in case. And we're being told to calculate and predict the force or the reactions in support one or strut one, two, and three. So how do we go about solving such a problem? To do this, there are a number of things that we need to um, do first, okay? So the first thing that we need to do is we need to define um, what's called the position vector of the struts relation to the position of the force. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. So how do we go about doing that? So the first thing I'm going to do is, let's call that finding position vectors. And I'm going to denote that as rho i j. Okay, so let's call that rho i j, all right? So this is the first thing I'm going to do. So for support one, so we're going to look at support one. So I'm going to call the position vector. So row A, B. So that's what I'm going to call that. So before we do, Let's identify where the coordinate points are in regards to the reference frame. It's very important that we do define some form of reference plane. So X is directed towards me. Y is directed rightwards from, let's call this the point of origin, and Z upwards. So upwards, we resume positive, downwards, negative. Y, rightwards, positive, leftwards, negative. And then X towards me, positive, away from me, negative. Okay, so the sign convention is quite important here. Okay, so at B, what do we have? At B, so again, we're defining these in terms of X, Y, Z, or if you want to call this I, J, K, then we can do that. So I'll start defining I, J, K when it comes to defining the actual vectors. So I'm just looking at the points. So in terms of that, what is my x respect to b? So we've going along the x, so that is at 8. In terms of y, that's moving from the origin to y positively 2. So that's 2 meters. And in terms of z, there is no rise in terms of z, so that is zero. So that's the position at B. At A, respect to where the force is, so let's call that location of the force. So that is the 10 kilonewton force. How do we go about doing that? So in terms of that, x is 0, y is 0, because it's at the point of origin. And it goes up a distance of 12 meters. So let's bring that there. So it goes up 12 meters. So that will be 0, 0, 12. Okay, so. Let's put the meters there so that we don't get any confusion. All right. Okay. So we've done that. So therefore, so therefore, position vector AB. Okay. So that is our row. I can put the vector sign there. AB will be equal to OB minus OA. And we can call that in meters, okay? 
So this is OB, and that is OA. All right. Okay, so this would be equal to eight to naught take away zero zero twelve. So this is basically what we're doing, okay? So we're going to progress, okay, from A to where B is. So that's basically what we're doing. All right. That's equal to eight to minus twelve. Okay. Or let's define that as eight I plus two J minus twelve K. All right, so we've got 12, 8, 2, all right, okay, so we've defined one of the vectors. So let's look at the next vector, which would be for support C, okay, so similar to what we did previously, I'm going to work out or deduce the position of A, which we've already done to be 0, 0, 0012 with respect to our reference plane, our reference coordinate. And then C is going to be, so in terms of X, it lies on Y, so X would be equal to 0. Y is at 5, okay? And in terms of Z, there's no rise at C, so that is 0. Okay. So let's look at support So let's look at support 2 okay at C So at OC so let's call that OC okay so the position is 0 5 and 0. At A, so let's call that OA, the position as we've deduced is 0, 0, 12. So therefore, the position vector And we're calling that row AC. That's equal to OC minus AC. Okay. So we can do it this way. So what's the coordinate for C? So that is 0, 5, 0, minus 0, 0, 12, okay, and this will be given, so again, we're deducting the i's from the i's, the j's from the j's, and then the k's from the k's, okay, right, so this becomes not i plus 5j minus 12 Okay, meters. So because I'm doing this with um, respect to my students, I'm going to have another um, lecture talk or tutorial talk relating to vectors in general. So we're going to start from the fundamentals and we build up from there. So if you're not familiar with these concepts, don't worry about it. Um, as part and parcel of my um, lecture series relating to statics, I will talk about vectors. 
that's enough to worry about. But if you do understand the concept of vectors, then at least you can work along with me. All right. Okay, so we've established C. So we're going to do likewise for D or support three. So at support three at D. So let's call it that. So let's bring our diagram again, our vector diagram again. So where is D? So D is along X and it's negative. It's in the negative direction. All right. So that would be minus 2.5 meters. In terms of Y, there is no progression in terms of Y. There's no progression in terms of X. Um, Z okay. So at OD, this is what we have. So we've basically got minus 2.5, 0, 0. Okay. And we already know at OA, that's going to give us what? That's already 0, 12. So therefore, position vector, and we're calling that AD. Okay, so that is basically row AD, and that's equal to OD minus OA. This is equal to so minus 2.5 not not take away not not 12. Okay, so we're just taking the difference between uh, the respective coordinates in terms of x, y, and z. Okay, and this would give us minus 2.5 minus 0 is minus 2.5 plus 0j. I can choose to ignore the j if I want to, but I'll just put in there just in case. And 0 minus 12 is minus 12. And that is in meters. So we've done step one. So we've worked out the position vectors, okay, with respect to the struts. So that's all been done. 